Hello, my friend. Welcome to Hain Yoga. In this session, we will be practicing yoga for digestion. It's an all-level hatha yoga sequence. Through pranayama, side bends, and twist, we will be stimulating and massaging our digestive organs. To start our practice today, I would like to share a quote by Vernon Howard. It goes like this. The miracle of self-healing occurs when the inner patient yields to the inner physicians. Let us move to remember the inner physician within us today. Let's start in kneeling position. We're going to do a breathing exercise that's called Kapalabhati. It's one of Kriya, it's one of a cleansing exercise that is good for so many things. Um, for, for this time, we are doing this to really activate the whole um, digestive tract and that area. Mm. When you exhale, you want to exhale completely and really pulling that belly in, getting all the air out as much as possible. And for inhalation, just don't worry about it, just relax. When you exhale, you're going to pull it in quite strongly and it would make this kind of sound. <laughs> and we're going to repeat that for about 30 times. It would look like this. And if you look at your belly, your belly will move in, out, in, out. Chest is relaxed and shoulders are relaxed as well. Mouth closed, breathing from the nose. Exhale completely. Take a deep breath in. And let's go. Exhale completely and take a deep breath in, fill up your abdomen and exhale all the way. Make fists with your hands and place your hands against your belly. Gently fold forward, drop your head, relax your elbows. As you relax your elbows, your um, fist will dig in a little deeper, your abdomen will rest a little more against your hands. Breathe into your hands and as you breathe into your hands, soften your belly. One more breath. Slowly coming back up. Find crossed leg position, easy, simple, comfortable crossed leg, arms on the side, walk your right hand away, and side stretch. Hmm. Focus on deep breathing through your belly, so that we are giving, we are stretching the muscles, but with this position and with your breathing combined, we're also we're gonna also stimulate and give massage from the inside. It might be a little bit uncomfortable and difficult even to actually breathe deeply in posture, but give it a try. And slowly come back up and to the other side. So we first create an environment with the with the uh, through being in a posture, coming into a posture. And then we use a breath to give massage for the inner environment. Hmm. One more breath. Slowly coming back up. And twist to your right side. 
not too deep so that you can breathe from your abdomen. Exhale, twisting to your right side. Go, let's say about 30% so that you can still breathe deeply from your abdomen. You might need to force a little bit. Hmm. And slowly coming back to the center, your belly might start to sing already like mine. Inhale and exhale, twist to your left side. Oh, I'm definitely feeling, yes, trying to find its way out. <sighs> Up or down. And slowly coming back to the center. Lie down on your back and we're going to continue with shoulder stand. Mm. Legs going up as your legs come close to your head. As your hips start to roll up, catch your back with your hands. Supporting your back with your hands. Bend your knees, knees to your forehead. Make yourself small while you adjust your position. Coming up to shoulder stand, we're not going to stay here much long actually. We're going to go directly into Halasana, slowly lower both legs down and I invite you to do this really slowly so that you are not rolling over to the head. <sighs> Resist through the back of the head to be able to keep the arch of your neck. Keep a bit of distance between your chin and your chest. Keep your gaze up and then eventually you can close your eyes as well. But keep your gaze up. That's going to help you to keep that arch in your neck. And again, wherever you arrive here, make yourself comfortable. Breathe deeply with me three times through your abdomen. It will be a bit awkward, a bit uncomfortable and challenging. But let's do this together. One more time. Okay. Slowly coming out. Whatever you need to do to come out slow. Do whatever you need to do to come out slowly. You can catch your hips. You can catch your leg. Once your hips touch the floor, bend your knees. And we're going to go into bridge pose. Feet about hip wide distance, big toes slightly pointing in, heels underneath your knees. As you inhale, focus on pressing your feet against the floor for the hips to come up rather than hips trying to come up and the legs following. Start with the leg and let the hips follow. Let's have, um, if it's possible, have your hands underneath your the top of your buttocks, not your lower back, but top of your buttocks, so that there is an elongation of your lower back. If this is uncomfortable for your arms, then um, bring your arms underneath your hips, interlock your fingers, and press your arms against the floor. Now, wherever you are with your arms, we breathe five times deeply from your abdomen. I'm going to invite you to exaggerate that inhalation and balloon your abdomen. I'm not sure if that's the correct English, but make your belly like a balloon. Really expand it, stretch it as you inhale. And exhale. Let the ribs and the hip bone reveals as you pull in your belly. Two more time. Last one. Mm. 
Coming back to normal breathing, release your arm and slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring your knees to your chest and hug your legs. Let's rest here for a couple of breaths to ease, bring easiness in your back. <sighs> and relaxation in your belly. And let's finish with Supta Baddha Konasana. Staying lying down, bring your knees apart and soles of the feet together. Have your hands on the belly and give a gentle massage to your belly. Have your hands going, cir uh, going in circle to the right side. Covering the corners of the hips and corners towards the, the rib cage. Right in the middle of the belly as well. And then place your hands, the low part of your abdomen, around your hip bone or anywhere that feels appropriate for you. Let's just rest here for a few more breaths and kind of stepping back and let the body do the rest of the work. We steered, we stimulated, we brought circulation. Now let's step back and let the body do the rest. Thank you everyone for joining me on this video. A question I want to leave you to contemplate to finish this session is how are you doing with assimilating nourishment? How do you recognize what's good for you and how do you absorb the goodness from it? Comment below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for weekly yoga practice. Thank you so much and I wish you a beautiful day and see you next week. Keep shine on.